finally have my Glowforge. It's finally here. This is my short unboxing video. As you can see, the, the, the box is huge. It has lots of parts to it. Um, to keep it well packaged. It was very well packaged. I was very pleased with that. It's a hefty thing, but uh, definitely needed to be. One of the general rules with these is that you have to keep the box um, in case there's any problems you need to send it back in the original packaging. I believe it costs $250 for um, replacement packaging if something goes wrong. I'm hoping that nothing will go wrong but if it does, it does. And I'd rather have this saved somewhere as bulk as it is. I'd rather it was safe and I had it available just in case. I did need have two people to help, you know, take all these bits apart. A bit awkward, but uh, I've got long arms, so I was fine. The area in which I was setting it up is quite small, um, but uh, once it was out of the box, it wasn't too bad. As you can see, lots of foam inserts to stop it moving around. So I've been waiting five years to get one of these machines, so I'm really, really pleased. And uh, looking forward to using it. Once I removed all the plastic and uh, set it up on my, on my workspace, it was time to remove all of the orange coloured parts. So tape, bolts, clips, anything that was orange had to be removed in a particular order. So it's worth going to the uh, setup.glowforge.com um, site to follow that. I watched it about a dozen times, so I, I kind of had an idea of what I was doing, but I did refer to it every now and then just to make sure. And take out all the foam inserts. There are some accessories in there as well, so take your time and, and go through it bit by bit. This little clip just pops out nice and easily. And then you have to remove the rear foam insert, which houses the uh, lens and some accessories. It comes with one Zeiss lens wipe. I'm recommended to use those for the lenses. I'm wearing gloves to make sure I don't touch the lens and this is a lens removing tool. So this is to take the lens out to clean it and to put it back into the uh, carriage as well. And this is the actual lens itself. It's got some sort of cheesy what's it looking thing inside there, but that's again an orange foam insert to protect the lens. And it's got magnets on uh, the base which help to hold it in place when you clip it on. There's nothing, it's not hard to install at all. And once I removed the final foam insert, it's time to remove the carriage bolts on the left and right hand side which are screwed in to hold to hold in place. Once you've unscrewed those, again you have to keep these things, it's, it's helpful to keep these things. Um, you, you can push the uh, laser carriage back and then reveal two silicone strips which are also on the carriage to stop it moving around. And here's the box of accessories and uh, the free materials that you get when you make a purchase, uh, which houses the crumb tray and the hose. I actually bought a second hose to go with an AC um, Infinity external um, fan to help quieten uh, the process because the built-in fan is quite noisy so it was recommended to get an external fan um, which runs a bit quieter. 
and these are the materials. You get some leather, some walnuts, um, some MDF, and some plywood, base wood. So in goes the uh, crumb tray, nice and easy. A couple of little notches at the bottom there which help to hold it in place, so give it a wiggle to, to it sits in there nicely. And now we just place in the, the actual lens box, I don't know what it's officially called. And there's a little cable strip which plugs in nice and easy. Magnets hold it in place, move it from side to side to make sure it's moving freely and not catching. And away we go. Finally the um, power cord and the exhaust hose at the back. And the next video I'll show, I'll have a little demo on there of the uh, first print. So look forward to that. And look up my channel for that next video. Thanks for watching.